Hello everyone. Today we are going to make an expression for the strain energy due to torsion. In this derivation, let R is equal to radius of the shaft, L is length of the shaft, tau is the shear stress, U is equal to total strain energy, C is modulus of rigidity, theta is equal to angle of the twist. For deriving this expression, we are considering a shaft. In this shaft, R is radius, L is length, theta is angle of the twist. We are going to derive an expression using the graph. We know that when we plot the graph torque versus angle of twist, we will be having a triangular shaped graph because torque and angle of twist will be changing constantly. So we will be having the line like this. Using this graph, we can calculate the work done. Work done is equal to area of the triangle. We know that the formula for area of the triangle is half into bh. In this graph, we can take the breadth as uh, theta and the height as t. So using that formula, we can calculate the area. We know the torsion equation. T by j is equal to tau by r is equal to c theta by l. In this equation, first we are going to relate t by j and c theta by l. We can take the c by l on the left side. Then we will get theta is equal to T L by J C. Then we can relate T by J and tau by R. Here we can take the J on the right side. Finally we are getting T is equal to tau by R into J. First I am going to apply T L by J C instead of theta. T into T I will be getting T square. So T square L by 2 C J. Then we can apply tau by R into J instead of T. Then we will be getting tau square by r square into j square. Already there is one j, we can cut. Finally we are getting tau square by r square into j into l by 2c. We know that strain energy stored is equal to work done by load. So u is equal to tau square by r square into j into l by 2c. Let's skip this as equation number 1. In solid soft polar second movement of inertia formula is phi r power 4 by 2 we can apply then we can cut this r square and r power 4 here we will be having 2 then 2 into 2 4 finally we are getting tau square by 4 c phi r square into l in the solid shaft the area formula is phi r square so it will be area also volume is equal to area into length so phi r square into l so instead of phi r square into l, we can write as v. So it is the expression for the strain energy in solid shaft due to torsion. Now we are going to find out the strain energy formula in hollow shaft due to torsion. We have already made one expression for the strain energy. We can take that from the equation number 1. The polar second movement of inertia formula for the hollow shaft is equal to phi by 2 into capital R power 4 minus small r power 4 we can apply instead of j then for the capital R power 4 minus small r power 4 we can apply a square minus b square formula we know that the formula is a plus b into a minus b here a is capital R power square b is small r power square then we can take phi capital R square minus r square and l as separate because the area formula in the hollow shaft is phi into capital R square minus R square and the volume formula is area into length so pi into capital R square minus small r square into L so for the value of pi into capital R square minus small r square into L we can apply B finally we have made one expression for the strain energy in the hollow shaft due to torsion now we are going to end this session thank you for watching this video